Hi everyone, Bruce here. Thanks so much for the support. You guys have been hearing me uh, talk about a little bit of the problem. I'm not gonna linger for long. Channel's going badly, I need more traffic. You guys get the point, I wanna stick around. In physics, this is very interesting guys. I'm no genius, but I have understood something and because of what I saw on the moon, I was able to look into physics and find the areas and the information to share with you that is what I believe is important. Um, in terms of physics, an object is said to be dark when it absorbs photons, causing it to appear dim compared to other objects. For example, um, let me give you, yeah, black paint. Take black paint th that does not reflect much visible light, it appears dark. Whereas, you know, simply basically said, white paint reflects lots of light and it appears very bright and that scatter, right? The light scatters. It's not a beam of light that comes off the paint. It's a scattering of light, like blinding light. And it's hard for us to see. So um, an object may appear dark on the moon, but it may be very bright, like the dark bright objects I've been finding. And they may be bright at a frequency that humans, us, cannot perceive because of a different wavelength. Something as small as an air molecule can scatter light. Maybe we can't see it with the naked eye, but it can. Rima Hygienus Crater. This is just a photo. Real quick. I mean, hey, we're getting in real close. But the Terminator line, right after this, the Terminator line is showing us the line of dark and daylight um, elevation. Not just structuring. It's showing us an actual elevation on the surface. And... So I began my studies of light. Okay, I'll be 60 to 100 years studying that before I'm able to explain something. But hey, thanks Tesla and thanks to every person that has ever devoted their time in science to studying light. I mentioned light scattering. What did I mean by light scattering? Well, there's industrial scattering. It's, you know, when you look on the surface of the moon, you see that uh, light reflecting back because, you know, light can you know, be absorbed onto the moon in various ways, but scattering in general, physical process, um, some forms of radiation, in our case, we're talking about light, but it could also be sound, moving particles, anything, are forced to deviate from a straight trajectory as the light that we see uh, scattering back from the surface of the moon by one or more paths due to localized non-uniformities in the medium through which they pass. Hey everyone, I showed this yesterday. What do you think of it? Doesn't it, I mean, for the first time in my life, I have to admit, it looks like we're flying over Hawaii, right? It really does look like volcanoes at times, some of those areas, like there were long strips of lava flowing, like we were back in the time of the dinosaurs. Hey, I wonder if the moon's surface has mud volcanoes, and maybe that's what's causing uh, the smoker haze. Check it out. Maybe it's volcanoes. Well, science tells us that the core is too dense and that uh, volcanoes do not reach the surface. But interestingly enough, um, recent moon quake data tells scientists now, so they say, that the interior of the moon would hold a lot of magma. All right, that's enough chit-chatting. Let's get in close, and I mean extremely close and I can get some music up for you guys. Thanks for watching everyone. At times in the live feed you will see at least four to five hundred maybe even six hundred creators at the same time all at once on one screen. That's how close we are. We're seeing a lot of small supposed cradlets.
For whatever the reason you'd like to send me something, here is my mailing address. Houston, say again, please. Oh, you're 